Where did people of the period go to the bathroom? Benjamin Franklin once wrote that, In this world, nothing is certain except death and taxes. He seems to have left out another certainty as well. Going to the bathroom, relieving oneself, answering the call of nature, going to the little boy's or girl's room. However you say it, it is a fact of life that everybody goes. Since I, your friendly flush toilet, didn't exist in the 18th century, where would people go to the bathroom? Let's visit Colonial Williamsburg's professionals of 18th century potties to find out. Williamsburg residents in the 18th century often had chamber pots. These in front of me look like small mugs or bowls with handles. These were actually um, portable toilets for 18th century Williamsburg residents. What about American Indians? Did they use chamber pots too? Unfortunately for us, European colonists really don't write a lot about it. They're not overly interested in where native people go poop. For the most part though, what they do write is that uh, as a whole, we typically make waste outside of our towns. So we're not using a chamber pot, we're not going inside of the house or inside of the city limits. People would use these pots inside their house? But 18th century buildings didn't have indoor bathrooms. Where would they have kept them? We see in households uh, that, the, and print sources often reveal this, uh, that chamber pots were kept at the foot of a bed in your bedroom or chamber. They were also found in sideboards or even purpose-built pieces of furniture within a dining room, for example. You know, the thought of privacy in the 18th century is much different from what we think of today. You can't go into the bathroom and close the door. If there was not a bathroom to go into, where would they use them? Um, there are stories told within newspapers uh, as well as what is revealed to us in print and painting sources um, that people were just using a chamber pot um, in, in the middle of, of a dinner that they would, they would get up and go to the sideboard, um, uh, relieve themselves, uh, and then return to the table. Ew, that's disgusting. Even I think I would lose my appetite. But without having flushing toilets, how did people dispose of the waste? Disposing of the waste from chamber pots in the 18th century was usually done by um, enslaved or um, servants within the household. Um, and often it was a job relegated to children. That sounds like a terrible, stinking job. But didn't some people use an outhouse or privy? And what is a privy? A privy is basically an outdoor bathroom. So they were built behind houses and, and trade shops. And it's a place that, where you can do your business when no running water was available in the colonial era. I bet people thought those were fancy back then. For the wealthiest members of Virginia society, having a privy was a mark of their social status. The Bird family's uh, plantation outside of Williamsburg, uh, they had a five-person privy. So imagine going into a little brick building with five holes and a fireplace, and you could do your business with four of your best friends. Uh, sounds like fun, right? Thanks for learning along with me on this exploration of 18th century potties. Now, don't forget to flush!